The mysterious phenomenon known as crop circles has perplexed investigators around the globe. But does the evidence stand up to the test of science? Biophysicist Dr. W. C. Levengood believes that it not only deserves the attention of scientists, he has dedicated part of his life to unraveling the mystery. Join us as this Paranormal TV one-on-one -on -one explores the work of Dr. W. C. Levengood. I first heard about the crop circles through a couple of television documentaries on the subject. And I found them extremely interesting and intriguing. I didn't have any preconceived notion as to what the crop circles were before I started the investigation. Uh, in fact, I went into it uh, intentionally with no pre preconceived notion. I simply wanted to find out if there was some effect on the plants in these, in these formations. This whole investigation can be called an exploratory type of research, where you go in and uh, you don't particularly look for anything. You, you, my, my primary interest was to find out if there was some physiological or some evidence of changes or damage to the plants in the crop circle. The first samples sent were on the surface. There appeared to be nothing unusual. Now these were for, from two crop circles formed in England uh, at locations approximately 50 miles apart. And uh, the, the first thing you do, of course, is look at the external appearance of the plants. As I looked at these heads, there, there appeared to be absolutely nothing uh, abnormal. And in fact, in the controls, which were the normal plants taking outside the formation, there weren't. Now this is one of these uh, control series here. And as you'll see, the seeds are what we think of as normal, uh, normally developed wheat, wheat seeds. And I fully expected to find a normal seed inside. But uh, I was uh, very surprised to uh, note that Instead of the normal seed, there was a condition that's known as polyembryony. Now each one of the, uh, these, these glooms or husks had within it, instead of one embryo that formed the seed with the fat endosperm around it, there were only, the, only an embryo, only embryos had formed, but not one, but sometimes three or four. You can get this through very strange crossings of two different species of plants, that is wheat with another species. Well, that seemed like a pretty illogical uh, explanation for this, but you can also get this through ionizing radiation. The most important thing was that here you have a very specific alteration in the embryo and its subsequent development. Now for these to have occurred, this formation must have been formed at about the time of anthesis or at the time of flowering and fertilization of the plant. So that um, this is a very sensitive time for the embryo. Now the, the one most uh, unusual thing about this was that we not only saw it, saw it in one of these crop circles, we saw it in both of the crop circles. In uh, this happened to be one that uh, was coded, co coded circle A, and in circle B, which as I previously mentioned was about 50 miles apart, we saw exactly the same thing. There's some pretty severe energy input here that can drastically alter the fundamental uh, biochemical pathways that are occurring in the seed as it develops. 